Hey Gearheads, we've got an electrifying episode of In Gear right here for you, so hang on. In the first segment, we are taking a look at the Renault Zoe, an EV that is so cute but cool and easy to use and available right here in KL. Next up, we're sticking with the Zoe but this time around with the Comos car sharing platform. How can you drive one without owning one? Watch to find out. And finally, we go from four wheels to two wheels on an Eclimo scooter. It's all electric and it's from Penang. Enjoy the episode. Can you live with an electric vehicle in KL? Are you going to feel anxious all the time? Well, we are going to test out our theories with the Renault Zoe only on In Gear with me, Seth Ferdinand Omar. So, we want to understand how a person living with an EV feels like driving it in KL. We want to know what the anxiety is like. We want to understand the emotions of it. So, for that, I've enlisted my friend who works in Glam the Lucky, Ryan. Hey guys. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, me and Ryan, we are going to go into the city because we have to do some returning and loaning of goods. See, that's what a person working in a fashion editorial does. We have to borrow stuff and return stuff for photo shoots. So, it's not just about coming to work in PJ, but it's also about coming to work and moving around. So, for that, this is our route for today. We are going to be going from here in PJ into the city to KL Tower. And then we're going to stop by in Jalan Raja Chulan. And then we are going to go over to BSC for a quick stop before coming back here to PJ. So, that's our route for today. So, I'm excited to hit the road. Let's go. Right, so the main reason why we're starting off this review over here is because we need this baby over here which is this Hager three-phase fast charging unit and this is what we need to give juice to the car but if you're talking about the car itself this car does not challenge you to think about the way you look at cars it doesn't look like a spaceship it looks like a regular car it looks cute it looks good but it doesn't look totally out of this world so there's really not much to talk about the design it's a good looking car looks very modern with some very nice interesting bits around it but you know what this car is all about the drive and how you feel driving it okay so we're approaching our first stop uh we are what's the name of this building the FJ Benjamin office. <laughs> the FJ Benjamin office, yes. that's right. Uh, where we are going to pick up a watch. Yes. Yes, we are going to pick up a watch and I am going to stop somewhere at the side uh, while Ryan goes up. Okay, so cool. So Ryan is out and he is going to go up uh, this uh, building over here to the FJ Benjamin office where he is going to be picking up. Uh, a watch for his photo shoot, right? Um, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what we have right here in this car. So, like I said earlier, the outside is very straightforward. It's it's uh, it's a regular looking car, and it's the same again over here. Inside, it actually looks very clean, very simple, very very today bordering tomorrow. Actually, you have a very simple steering wheel to play with. Um, there is a, a plastic white fascia running down the middle with a large uh, touch screen that gives you all your entertainment and your um, navigation um, information everything is there you've got two aircon vents and uh, climate control up front and also right in front of you instead of clocks you have uh, a digital speedometer and the main thing that you want to be looking at over here is the battery uh, which currently stands at 128 kilometers anxious anxious um, so that's the main stuff that you'll be looking at. Apart from that, uh, everything is plastic. You actually feel like you're in, uh, you are in an aircraft cabin, uh, like Ryan says. Uh, it's, uh, it looks very smart. I think it's also very lightweight, I, I'm, I'm guessing. Lah. Um, but it definitely looks smart. These chairs also look very, very smart. Uh, but more importantly, they're super comfortable. They're really comfortable. Great for you to be sitting on uh, if you're driving in the city traffic and all that it's it's absolutely perfect <sighs> all 
ready. Yep. Put it. Okay. Let's go. We are going to go now. So you know what we're doing? We're, we're actually, um, yes, we're driving as normally as we can under normal driving circumstances, but also uh, we are actually putting this car uh, through the regular test, right? You know, Malaysia is very hot, so we've got the aircon turned up. Uh, my phone um, is uh, having some battery problems, so it's got to be hooked on and plugged in all the time. I'm also plugging in my GoPro on, uh, and so I'm actually using a lot of juice, and of course, I've got the sound system on, I'm listening to the radio. So really, I'm, I'm trying to do what I would normally do in any car. Uh, and what I can tell you is that um, in when we left earlier, we left the showroom with 160 kilometers on the battery. Now, we've traveled 11 kilometers, but we've only got 130 kilometers um, on the battery. So we've used up uh, 30 kilometers worth of juice by just going 10 kilometers 11 kilometers it's quite okay but you know what I really like about this is that uh, because this is an electric motor right you get maximum torque from zero rpm not that there is any rpm at all so it's really responsive and it's just coming to you uh, in a boom like that Ryan is looking around. Where is this Monaro go here? Yeah. You know where we're going? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got actually a uh, pretty good torque. And that is exactly what you need in city driving cars because you need to be able to make that zip from one exit to the other, from one lane to another. You need to make sure that when you're keeping up with the traffic, um, you, you got to be quick. Uh, entry and exit into roundabouts. That's what you need a lot of torque for. And in this car, you definitely get it. Okay, okay, that one, yep. This one go here, okay? We're stopping here, we're on Jalan Raja Chulan. Yes, we also have to deal with traffic. That's another thing that we have to consider. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, so whilst Ryan is um, up in uh, Gold Hill to pick up uh, the other watch that he needs for his photo shoot, let me tell you a little bit about um, where we are with um, EVs uh, in the country, right? So, of course, the main question that people will be asking or thinking about or considering when you're talking about an EV vehicle uh, is the range, how far you can go with it. Is this vehicle one that is suitable for you to um, do long distances on the highway? Maybe not, because as you can see, even with full charge, this particular Renault Zoe comes with 160 kilometers range. Whilst it may sound a lot, it really isn't, especially when you're considering and you're factoring in stuff like um, the actual consumption, not only uh, in translating energy into kilometers, but also the other stuff, your air conditioning, when you're stuck in traffic and all that. So range anxiety is something that you definitely have to deal with. But then even when you want to rapid charge the car, right? It comes with half an hour um, time impediment because you need at least half an hour to quick charge the car up to 80%, okay? And then when you're considering the fact that uh, for this particular Zoe, you need a specific type of charger with specific type of charging interface. That means when you purchase this car, they will actually come and install the the rapid charger in your home. If you're living in a condominium, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you. If you're living in a landed property, okay, easy, but condominium, special allowances have to be made for you. Okay. Yay, he's back, he's back, he's back. Yep. Okay. I'm done with all watches. Yeah, but you're supposed to be driving. Oh, later lah. <laughs> <laughs> After Bangsa. No, 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 we are going to okay. stop somewhere and you will be driving two bangsa. Okay, time for our third location today, which is in Bangsa Shopping Centre. We actually have something to do over here. But the best thing about having a meeting over here, in case I actually own this Renault Zoe, is that not only can I go for my meeting, but also I can charge my car here at this EV charging bay. So, uh, we've got this um, cable which comes in this funky Renault bag. Uh, and um, here we go. 
All we need to do is basically to plug it in. And once it's plugged in, and it's secured, and it's charging, hey, pass me the keys. Oh. So Ryan is going to go and continue and do his work, and I also have my meeting. And basically, all you need to do is to just leave the car here, and it's good to go. And thus comes to an end our little electric adventure with the Renault Zoe. So, in short, this really isn't a segment that aims to answer questions, but it aims to raise questions. Are we ready? Um, what are the things that we need to consider? Um, what are the feelings that we go through when driving an electric car? So those questions are the sort of questions that you should expect to be asking when you're driving an electric car. But to the question, is this a practical application for driving in a city like KL? Despite the shortcomings of technology and infrastructure now, it still is an engaging drive and it still gets the job done. So it can only mean one thing, tomorrow is going to be a definite better day. All right, I'm going to go for Teh Tarik with Ryan now. Ryan, thanks. Let's, Let's go. go.